Alright, hello everyone. At a very bad camera angle, we have the LG Chocolate Touch. Now, um, I went over the LG Chocolate Touch a while ago. Um, I gave my review on it. Um, you can see the camera there uh, in the reflection. Uh, you can see that it is uh, 3G from Verizon. Um, it does have Bluetooth. So I am going to turn the camera a bit. Actually, I'm going to completely spin it so that it is more sturdy. And we have a way better angle here. Um, so that didn't work. Uh, all about trial and error, isn't it? Okay, so, uh, sorry about that pause, uh, I found a way better camera angle. Um, as you can see, uh, I have my alarm clock set, uh, for later, uh, I have my dashboard type set. Um, so let's get right into the review of Heavy Weapon Deluxe for this phone. Um, the first thing I want to point out is the really tacky music. Now, the first screen that you come to asks you if you want sound, and we're going to say yes. I don't know if you can hear that. So, the first thing I notice is that it has big buttons and it looks exactly like uh, the desktop version in some ways and I already have a mission loaded so I will continue that mission you can upgrade everything and then go on Petrovakia Now the first thing I don't like is that your finger is always in the way. So, well you can hear that really tacky music in the background. You can see that the ground units have approached, sort of. This does have the mega laser, which, there we go. I just picked up a piece of. So I'm going to play through this very long level. Now the first thing I want to point out is that uh, you don't get nukes as often in this version. and you can't hear the weapon fire which I know that a lot of people like not being able to hear it um, personally I don't like it um, I like being able to hear that you know I am really shooting at these people okay so there's a nuke I'll save this for the big boss Let me 
make sure you guys can still see this, sort of. There isn't a lot of ways to show this to you guys, unfortunately. But don't you just dig the old classic, uh, classic-ish music? Sounds like Atari. Seriously, that's the first game I thought of when I saw this. When I listened to the music for the first time, it was Atari. So, whatever you guys think of that, it's totally up to you, you guys. Now the aiming is a little bit difficult, and now in this version you do not uh, lose uh, the mega laser. You do not lose uh, the mega laser parts that you have. You just downgrade one part uh, in comparison to the game that you actually lose the whole Mega Laser setup. Now here's the shield. There's the first part, but we are approaching the boss. Now, I do want to point out that the graphics are very, very small, as can be expected. Because uh, obviously you do not expect to see uh, computer quality graphics on a phone. That personally just wouldn't make sense to me. Here's our nuke we're going to use on the big boss. And this is the War Blimp, if you've ever played this game. And there we go. Game over. So, and I'm gonna quit this level. And then exit there. So, what's my major, major opinion on this? Um, it's awesome. Small screen, though. That's my biggest problem, is that it's a small screen. Um, if you've seen my review, it is a 3.0 3 uh, 3 inch screen, diagonally, of course. Um, it runs uh, LG's operating system, which, at this time that this came out, pardon me, was not uh, Android. Um, now they've recently upgraded Android, um, but it's a, the major problems is small screen, and, um, it's, the graphics are, they try to make it just like 
the computer game. And that I can pretty much bet you will never fly. Because you try to put in, uh, say, one of the games on congregate.com. You try and put that onto a phone. I know that some will work, but some like Sierra 7 won't. And um, I say Sierra 7 because it is a FPS game, a first-person shooter game. And uh, that's what I'm comparing Heavy Weapon to. Um, would I recommend this? Yes. Um, how much is it? Um, $7 to buy. Or three ninety nine a month. Um, now this was given to me for free to do the review on. Um, now I do gotta say that I don't like that your fingers always in the way. Um, I wish that OG would put it on an attachment that you could like uh, plug into the side or something and uh, use like a mouse, um, an external mouse or something. Um, but other than that, um, those are my only real problems. So before this video gets any much longer, and I am sorry about the technical issues and the camera tripod issues, um, but I want to thank you everyone for watching. I want to thank PopCap for sponsoring this video. Um, and I also want to thank uh, Verizon and LG for uh, putting out a, a okay platform. Um, as always, uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and I will see you, you, the viewer, in the next video.